Can we make our money back or even profit from opening up the brand new Brilliant Stars booster box? Let's find out in today's video. And by the way, welcome to episode three of our Poke Investing series, where together we're building a community portfolio where you guys make all the decisions for what we invest in and we find out what we can learn in the process. And as you guessed it, this was your choice this month. So I'm super excited to open this setup. I have not uh, really watched many openings of it so far, so it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise for me so I'm excited to see what's in here let's go all right guys well if it's your first time here my name is Luke and after 20 years I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood so I invite you to come along the journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below all right let's get set up here this is going to be pretty cool. Might as well start off with a Charizard pack, which is a really phenomenal artwork, honestly, I have to say. Kind of wish they would have put this on the cards. Pretty sure they didn't, from what I understand. Um, and by the way, as we're going through this, like we did last time, we are going to be kind of reviewing uh, some of the data from our portfolio and see how we've been doing with it. But let's start with one pack before we get into that. Starting off on, wow, very cool darkness energy. Got a little bit of a different look to it. Very cool. Uh, fracture, fracture, yeah, fracture, that's gotta be it. Marnie's Pride, Acerola's Premonition, Piplup. I will say these cards look, they feel nice. Turtwig. Min, Sino, Carablast, the Weasel, a reverse is Flygon, um, and we also have here just a non hollow rare Wormadam. Okay. Frankly, dear, I don't Wormadam. All right. So, anyway, let's look here at our little spreadsheet. And so you can see kind of last time until this time, we didn't uh, go an entire month this time. Uh, and you know, you do see a little bit of a change. You see that we actually uh, did lose some of our value in our portfolio. Last time it was where our portfolio value was 129 and now we're at about 125. So we were in the negative then and we are still in the negative before. And so, yeah, if you kind of scroll down here, we can see that unfortunately we kind of uh, lost value on a lot of our stuff from our celebrations opening and our evolving skies booster box. We did, um, you know, gain some value on a few of those cards, but yeah, guys, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And this is all just one big experiment to see if by opening up these boxes, you can actually, um, you know, I find that it's a good investment, make a profit over time, but we're going to continue to track it. Okay, we got reverse dust coal and a heatron non hollow. Nothing in these first two packs. One, two, three. Ooh, interesting. Okay, we got one of those unique cards. I feel like I saw someone on Instagram post about this. It's, it's pretty much impossible to. Uh, to avoid um, seeing some stuff online. Like I said, I didn't watch any openings, but you know, you do see some things. So that is like our V-Star card, which is kind of cool looking, it's unique, which is, you know, probably a part of the game. I think it's probably similar to the whole, uh, is it the, the GX uh, little uh, coin that you flip? I believe so, Bidoof. Ooh, Electabuzz, nice. I love that artwork. In the rain, a thunderstorm. Oh, that's great. Halusha. Blue Weasel. Shroomish. And another non hollow rare Hexorus. So, another thing that we look at week to week is uh but we basically kind of imagine as if we had invested in bitcoin 
kind of dollar cost average with Bitcoin. And so I do have some data for that and Bitcoin actually has uh, gone up a little bit. Let me get out of here to our little table. So yeah, we're still at a loss of about 872, but um, right now our imaginary Bitcoin coin investment is doing a little bit better than our Pokemon card investment. Staravia, Sock, Corfish, Golet, Jimmy Joe, Jim Jar, Morgem, and okay, we got a hollow. Bibarel, the uh, evolution of Bidoof. Okay, that's something, I guess. Keep it rolling. Got one, two, three, four. Let's go with the psychic energy. I really am digging these new looking energies. Clay doll, freshwater set, star me. That's pretty cool. I do like that artwork. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, Cub Chew. Dedene, Farfetch, ooh, like, look at that. That's a great Farfetch artwork, and I have to say, I'm, I got tired of seeing Galarian Farfetch, so it's very refreshing just to see the regular guy right here. Look at that artwork, that's awesome. Set that to the side with our Electabuzz. I do like keeping those Kanto vibes over there. Grimer, nice, another great looking one. Pot Helmet. <laughs> And Kinklang. Wow. Nothing so far, guys. So far, I think we are at zero, pretty much, practically, for our, <laughs> for our opening. And I will say I'm going to be keeping the code cards this time around. All right, we got... Fighting Energy, uh, Beertic, Monferno, Monferno, another one of those guys, Trapinch, Execute, cool, Starly, Shroomish, Cafe Master, the Master of the Cafe, and Flygon, oh my goodness guys, this is starting off pretty rough. Go with the psychic energy, Monferno, Beertic, Fracture, Shanks, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Halucha, Weasel, Starly, and a Professor's Research. Kind of new looking one there, Hollow. That's kind of cool. Not bad, I guess. Wada, Ultra Ball, uh, Vibrava, Tropius, Min Sino, Ball Toy, Snorunt, Nose Pass, Milstory. Ooh, nice. All right. So this is in the reverse hollow spot. We got the Zekrom character rare. Ooh, that's pretty. I will take that. And looks like, I believe this is a secret rare. Is it? Or it's like a subset. Oh, that's interesting. So there's, it's five of 30. TG. Don't know what that stands for, but nice. Our first good hit. Let's go guys. And a Shaman V. Okay, nice. Definitely more excited about the Zekrom. Boom. off with the darkness and uh, as we mentioned you guys did vote on uh, what we were going to open this time around and honestly I really didn't know what you guys were gonna say I think I threw out some really nice choices like let me show you real quick what we had here um, of course the max climax uh, brilliant stars hidden fates tens and evolving skies booster box take two and for a while, guys, I was just watching these numbers, and 
I was surprised that for a while, Evolving Skies was neck and neck with Brilliant Stars. Um, you know, I, I knew that Brilliant Stars would be a popular one because brand new, uh, but I thought, you know, maybe Hidden Fates. I mean, that's a very popular set. Um, so anyway, I think uh, this is definitely a fun one to open though. And I think we do have potential to get some good value out of it. All right, Halucha, Buizel, Choice Belt, and a Wormadam. All right. So, yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe. And by doing so, you'll get the notifications in your feed uh, when we do our next vote for our community portfolio. Because I'd love to know what you guys think we should invest in for our next uh, opening. Our next investment. Alrighty. One, two, three, four. To the front with the Metal Gear Solid. Barry Allen. Clang. Torquil. Uh, Piplup. Turtwig. Mincino. This feels very familiar. Carol Blast. The Weasel. Torterra. And a. Worm a dam again? Seriously. Seriously. I'm especially interested to see how things go from this opening because I will say, you know, one of the few cards I did know was in this set is the uh, those Charizards because I, you know, I even posted about it in the community that I knew that there was that. Uh, alternate art Charizard, which I think looks amazing. I'd love to pull that today. And I even saw that there's a rainbow Charizard that's gone up in value. Again, I just know this from seeing people's like social media posts. So yeah, guys, it'll be interesting because you can pull some really hot stuff in this box. But at the same time, uh, this set has not even released yet. So um, oftentimes the prices that we see can dip dramatically after release day. Now, of course, a lot of people have opened this. You know, I was able to get this from my local LGS. Maybe you have, uh, you know, another uh, LGS in your area that was able to get you the um, the starter kits, the um, build and battle boxes, is what I mean. So yeah, some people people have been opening these. So um, you know, they're. People are going to be buying and selling them on the secondary market already. However, because you know up until now they've been still very rare cards, I think these prices are probably a bit inflated. That's what I've observed from previous sets. We got Magmortar. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Uh, Magmortar right next to Electrovire. That's a great card. That's great. That needs that needs to be a great a tag team sort of card. So yeah, um, I I do think we could make profit from this box if we're lucky. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best investment per se, um, because like I said, the prices will drop quite a bit. So. But that's kind of the beauty of this series is that we're not only seeing if we can make profit today, but we're going to track it over time. And I'm really curious to see how those prices increase or decrease over time. Dust Skull, Grimer, Fresh Water Set, and a Drekovish. Aaron Drekovish. Okay, so we got a hit finally. It's been a while since we got one. Nothing that special in my opinion, but a hit is a hit. So we're adding a little bit of value now to our portfolio, which is great. Whoops, pulled two out there. I will say though, what I'm very, very surprised about is the fact that the rainbow Charizard, from what I looked up, is worth as much as it is. It's almost 400 bucks, guys. I just feel like that is super inflated. 
now I guess if we compared it to what is it uh burning shadows that has another rainbow charizard I guess it kind of makes sense but that's a much older set and it's had time to appreciate and kind of be a, become a more rare card but I don't know I'm really surprised that it's more expensive than the alternate art Charizard, which I just think is an amazing card. So I'm going to make a bold prediction here. I think we're going to see a drastic dip in that rainbow Charizard. Very cool Tornadus right there. I think we're going to see a drastic dip with that rainbow Charizard. I think it may even come down to match what the alt art is right now. And my prediction is that the alt art is going to be pretty steady. It might go down a little bit, but I think that that card is going to hold more value in the long run. And the reason is, I just feel like people love these alt art cards. And you know what a lot of people don't really love is the, the rainbow cards. Now it's a rainbow Charizard, so that's always going to be better than anything else. But I just have my doubts that that card is going to stay the top dog of this set. But that's just my thoughts. Maybe I'm totally wrong, time will tell. We'll take a look at it as time goes along. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. A skew and a escavalier. Tell you what, this box has been a little bit weak so far. Hopefully all the good hits are Still to come, towards the back. So like I said, I'm keeping the code cards this time. Not sure what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll, I might redeem them so I can get some cards for the online TCG. Or maybe I'll sell them because I do think that that is a good investment. And of course I'll incorporate that into our spreadsheet as well if I do. By the way, I wanted to comment on this, but I love this Clefairy. It really is very reminiscent of the base set Clefairy, just the uh, stance that she's in and everything. How oh, creamy and, ooh, nice. All right, our first V-Star, which I guess is replacing the V-Max cards. Okay, so we got Shaman. Yeah, there's stuff, there's some texture on there, very similar to like a V-Max. Very cool. I, I, I'm really digging those like whitish, silverish borders. That's really cool. Okay. Finally got something good. Now, as far as V stars go, I wonder if you're only going to get one V star per booster box. So maybe that is our main V star hit. I hope not, because it would still be cool to get a Charizard V star. All right, we got Metal Energy. Dusclops, Gibble, Trapage, Cast Form, Throw, Cherubi, Luxio Reverse, and a Mothem. Mothem. Keeping it rolling. Oop, I almost did five that time. That would have been an early surprise. Team Yells Cheer, Cincino. Execute, Grimer, Clefairy, Electabuzz, ooh, Reverse Electabuzz, we'll take it on top of Garchomp Hollow Rare, okay. All right guys, you know what it's time for? It's time for a Mega Stack. Let's get out 10 packs here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, all right. We're gonna open these up and pull the hits out. Stick it in one big mega stack. And it'll be a lot of fun. All right guys, if we did everything right, these are our potential hits right here. I'm just gonna do a quick Look through here, make sure we didn't miss anything good. Oh wait, oh, shoot, I just remembered something. I can't do a mega stack like this. There is going to be, there could potentially be some uh, character rares in here. Dang, 
Dang it, I messed up. All right, well, we're gonna go through this sick pile right here, one at a time. Here we go. Rapid, ooh, nice magmar, I like that. I totally forgot about the reverse spot. I should have picked out those ones as well. Maybe I should try this a little different. Ooh, look at that Lapras, that's cool. Ooh. Ooh, okay, we finally got one. Got Dedenne. All right, that's a cool one. I like the colors on that. We'll stick that in a sleeve after we finish up this crazy stack. Bidoof and Shanks. Okay, well, <laughs> after all that, we didn't really even get a whole lot, but yeah, we got this, so. A cool one so massive fail on our mega stack but not 100% because we're still still gonna uncover the actual hit hit cards here here we go first we got ooh agron v okay kind of cool there got a boss's orders I'm sure that's useful in the TCG hollow Non hollow Escavalier, Grim Snarl. Okay, Semi Seer V. And a little bit of value on here. Lapras, non hollow. I hope they have a hollow version of that because that would be awesome. Mana Fee, Eskew, Tornadus. Dusknor, okay. Just a little bit from that little lot there. Got some hits stacking up over here. I don't know guys, I, so far the hits that I've been getting, I'm not all that thrilled about. You know, we've got several, but not the coolest ones that we could get. Let's keep going. Hopefully there's some other great stuff to be found in these last, well, still got about eight packs left. All right, there's still a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. All right, and we got the fire. Let's pull some fire, guys. Cafe Master. Master of the Cafe. Spiritum, Impidimp, Axew, Magmar, Sock, Hexorus. All right, here we go. The fire. Grodel, Halucha, Throw, Magmar, Staryu, Burmy, another Dedenne, okay, well, yeah, I wish we wouldn't have gotten duplicates there, all right, and Kinkler, VMAX, okay, so they do still have some VMAXs in here, <laughs> that is, that's wild, it's like Kinkler with a beard, Santa Kinkler, very, Fascinating. I feel like I remember seeing this on Twitter a long time ago. Keep it going with the Zard pack. Got Psychic. Beer Tick. Fracture. Execute. Grimer. The Fairy. Electabuzz, Magmar, Reverse, and a Electivire, which again, I will say is very cool. So it's kind of the alternate art version of that one with Magmortar as the main character. Those are really cool. Metal, Energy, Hunting Gloves, Weevil, Fracture, Throw, Shroomish, Piplup, Turtwig, Sneasel, Achoo, Halucha. Ooh, okay. There we go. We got a full art trainer. Very nice. Kindler. Hello, Kindler. 
All right, something. Not always the biggest fan of the floor trainers personally. Just gonna quickly organize our hits over here so you can see them a little bit better. There we go, okay. Got a huge stack over here. Trying to keep everything on the table. Got a few more packs. Let's just pull them all out and go for the home stretch. Got this cool Arceus, Arceus pack on here. Got that V Star again. Hit him on top. Magma Basin, Crawdunt, Milsuri, Cup Chew, Didene, Farfetch. Love that artwork. Clefable. Very cool. Reverse Hollow there. What's this? Mimic UV Max. Okay. That's cool. We take that. I really did not expect to find V Max cards in this set. I thought that. The V-Star was kind of replacing that all together, but I guess not. Next pack. With the water, Clay Doll, Freshwater Set, Starmie, Cherubi, Sock, Corefish, Golette. Chimcho, Corefish, and a Al Creamy. Yeah, not so much. Okay, Leaf, Ultra Ball, Fibrava, Tropius, Riolu, Burmy, Staryu, Carablast. The fairy, reverse chimichar, and a muck. Another artwork that I could appreciate. All right, guys. Well, we are on our last two packs here. Let's get it. Still hoping for something really nice. Got a few decent stuff. Nothing that I've, I'm honestly that excited about. I feel like at this point, it's going to take quite a bit for me to feel very excited about this set. I know a lot of people are excited about it. They think it's the best thing since sliced bread, but like I said, I wanted to form my own opinion on it. And so far, I'm just a little bit let down. Cub Chew, Shinx, Farfetch'd, Reverse Kindler, and a Mothim. So, again, if anything, hopefully it can kind of set you guys' expectations straight. Because I'm sure you're, whoops, I'm sure you're seeing a ton of YouTubers opening up Brilliant Stars. And I'm sure they're pulling some great stuff, no doubt. But, unfortunately, not all experiences are like that. So, maybe this can at least give you a little bit of middle ground. We've got some cool stuff, but not every box is a winner. Here we go. Darkness Energy. Let's hope for some last pack of magic here. That would be really crazy to get something crazy on this one. Trap Inch. Cast Form. Okay, nothing in the subset there. Crawdont and and off this opening, we have Arceus V. Okay, that one's pretty cool. I do have to say I like that artwork quite a bit. So guys, we ended up with five hollow rares, seven V and V Max right here. Three character rares, including some duplicates, one full art trainer and one V Star. So yeah, guys, what do you, how do you guys think we did? 
uh, you'll see the final total of the value from our opening here today. Let us know if you think we made a good investment or not. I'd love to hear that in the comments below. But guys, thank you so much for joining us for this opening. If you like Pokemon card investment videos and to follow up with our future investments and see how uh, this opening will increase or decrease over time, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Lastly, Be sure and check out one of these videos on screen next. And lastly, I wanna remind you that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. We'll catch you next time.